Since we developed the technology to travel through hyperspace, a race to other habitable planets in space has broken out among the big corporations. In search of limitless growth, they leave Earth exploited and its environment devastated. The voluntary pioneers and colonists are lured to this adventurous journey by the hope of a better life and a new beginning in an untouched world. Our team at Imagine Earth LTD is convinced that only a development strategy that ensures the quality of life for our colonists and protects the planetary ecosystem can have long-lasting success. Apply now as a colony manager at Imagine Earth LTD. Right guys, hello and welcome to Imagine Earth. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu. And um, yeah, in this video we're going to take a look at this uh, game that I've been uh, kindly, kindly given. Um, so yeah, so I want to I wanna give a massive shout out to the developers, uh, Serious Bros, uh, for allowing us a key to check this game out. So thank you so much for that. And um, yeah, we're going to take a look at it. As you've seen, it's a cool little intro there. Um, it says on the Steam page, it says like... <clears throat> Um, in this sci-fi strategy sim, you build up global civilizations on distant worlds, harvest resources and produce goods to establish space trade, form uh, alliances or wage economic warfare to take over com competing corporations, do research to protect your colonists from disasters and avoid a climate crisis. So yeah, so it sort of reminds me a bit of a game that we're doing at the minute called Base One. Sort of reminds me a little bit of that, but it's more colonising a planet, so it's not, obviously it's not exactly, obviously with base one you sort of build in, I guess, sort of like a, a colony in space, like a spaceship colony. This, you'll actually be doing it on a planet, but I think maybe more so like the art style, the, like the way it looks, remind me a bit of base one. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do, smash that like button and subscribe for me. If you want to see more as well, that like button and subscribe button is very important. Uh, if you guys would like to get in touch with me as well in the description down below is all my contact details so you go check all that out as well as obviously commenting on these videos and stuff as well i do try and read all the comments i do try and reply to them as best i can uh, if you guys would like to hit that notification bell as well it's very very important because it lets you guys know when we upload another video or when we live stream as well it's a very handy little tool indeed uh, i have to apologize straight off the bat as well because i'm full of cold i feel like crap um, but yeah, I still want to continue on with this. I'm really looking forward to doing, uh, look, uh, uh, taking a look at this game, basically. It's been out for a long, long time, but it's due for a full release any moment now in a few days. Um, so yeah, so I want to I wanna have a look at it before it gets released. It says, hey, create a profile. The profile will save your whole career in the campaign and you'll, uh, and all your success in competitions in Endless. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on, do it. Cool. Right, Imagine okay. Earth Limited, Ooh. building sustainable civilizations. Okay, I hear you. So what's this then? The campaign includes story-based missions in the course of which you will colonise various planets and become acquainted with enemies, comrades and global dangers. I do like, you know us, we do like campaigns. Uh, it gives us sort of um, goals and stuff which I like. you got an endless game where you just play forever. We will look into that maybe as well. Also these competitions as well sounds interesting. In the competition you, you will compete with other companies for the settlement licence for an inhabited planet. The first colony to reach a certain number of victory points is awarded. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, let's go campaign and let's see what we have to offer. Let's go. Welcome to Imagine Earth LTD. Your job as a space colony manager is building sustainable civilizations. Establish thriving and profitable colonies on a global scale. Greetings, I am Aliyah. Thank you for your interest in the colony management job at Imagine Earth Limited. No problem. When do we get started? Welcome to the Andromeda Galaxy. Do you like its unique beauty? I do. That is also the closest Since galaxy the to ours, isn't it? Since crystals has enabled us to travel in hyperspace, new habitable biospheres are constantly being identified. Facts. I agree. Oh. Hello? Yeah, the Andromeda Galaxy is actually the closest galaxy to our Milky Way, isn't it? Oh, I want Tuto. Tuto. Okay, let's have a look. Your application test will take place on Tuto, one of the smallest planets in the area and an idyllic paradise. Let's build a magnificent colony with 900,000 inhabitants. If we reach that population, we will be granted the planet. We urgently need its yields to remain competitive. Okay. Difficulty easy, normal, hard. Uh, I'll go normal, I guess. 
Um, okay, I may need a tiny bit of a tutorial from you, lady, because I've not got a clue what I'm doing, but I'll start. Welcome aboard. We are approaching Tuto. This little planet already offers good conditions for a stately colony. Nice. Okay. This small, untouched paradise is one of the rare few that has the optimal living conditions and enough resources to build up a colony. Okay, facts. Let's go. And go. Your job is to build cities and their supply networks. Looks cool, man. It looks the very cool. The management interface is designed to make every operation as simple as possible so you can focus on important global matters more easily. Okay. I don't understand that, but okay. Use the mouse wheel or the buttons Q or E to zoom in or out of the globe. Ooh, okay. Hold the right Whoa. mouse button and drag the mouse to rotate. If I want to point something out to you, an icon will appear on the planet. Rotate the planet until you find it and activate the message with the left mouse button. Oh, here. Click on a free field in the target area to open the build ring. Select the city center and choose the landing site. Make sure to get as much building land as possible within the radius. Wow, we can zoom quite far in to be fair, can't we? That's cool. I don't I don't know what you said there. Click on a free field in the target area. Is that like Like there we can't, I guess. There we can't. Like a free field. Click on a free field in the target area to open the building ring. Select the city center and choose the landing site. Make sure to get as much building land as possible within the radius. Wait, what? Am I doing this right? I don't know. Oh, oh, I see. Um, I don't know, but I see. Okay, let's go there. Colony name. Ooh. Um, we'll go Catlandia. Or I choose colony name. No, choose my own After colony. Landing, oh. Our capsule is expanded into the city center of your new colony. Can you see the borders of your colony? Oh wow! Your buildings and city districts can only be built within this area. I see them. Like the little blue dashes around here. Oh, hello. Now we need food for our citizens. Facts. Choose one of the fertile fields to build a farm there. Okay, so that's obviously trees. So I'm guessing it's like here or here. Oh, I'm um, uh, food. Currently in the construct. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go on, son. Build it and these shall come. Okay. Of course, the farm needs energy. Quickly build a power plant to provide energy to your buildings. Okay. Click on the your face. The power plant has to be built on a coal deposit to operate efficiently. Clicking the right mouse button closes every menu. It closes this message as well. Um. So what am I looking for? Ah, uh, is that coal? Is that coal though? How do I know what's there before I build something there? Hello? I'm guessing obviously they are lit up, aren't they? So. Oh, that's coal. Hold on now. Oh, so it tells me one two uh one four seven one four seven. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. But a place on a free field. Ah, so we've got to build it like next to it. That's one four seven. That's one three six. Ah, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually on. My... Yeah. Let's go there. Sort of out the way a little bit. Look at the little building thing. Look, like drops a drops a pod. Boom. When the power plant is finished, we have enough energy for food production to run properly. It still says we're minus 30 though. Oh, is that consumption? Oh wow, look at this. Oh, okay. 
There's like a little house here. Oh yeah, that's my farms. Sweet. What's up now? Without a supply of goods, the quality of life in your cities will remain low. Build a quarry or a wood factory. <coughs> well, we have got some wood. I don't know about so much about a quarry. We have got um some wood cracker lacking. Look, got some wood right here, bro. Uh, demolition, examine, inventory, claim, clean. Oh, clean. Ah, <laughs> those claim. Um, okay. Goods. Uh, stone quarry, mountains, rocks, or asteroid, or forest. I'll do a forest, bro. Forty-two. Forty-two, like the best we're gonna get. Hang on a minute, let me go back. Uh, let me try that again. Let me go here, let me go goods. Uh, I've got 50 down here. 54? Oh wow, 58. Two lots there. Boom. 58, I think that's the best one. That was better than the wood, weren't it? Oh, 60 there. Oh, it needs a free field. Ah, oh, it's not going to work there either. That's 54. Um, let me double check. 54. Yeah, he's like 30, he's 40. Yeah, they're not very good. Right, so stone it is then. 54. Build it. It's an asteroid. Cool, cool. Information. Nice. Everyone likes a bit of info. Boom! Got him! Oh, so that's like a little... Look, the first colonists arrived by orbital lift. Ooh. They will leave your colony the same way if they're not satisfied with the quality of life. Okay. I hear ya. I recommend expanding the city with additional city districts. More living space for your colonists. Did I mention they pay taxes? You didn't, but you did now. That's, that's interesting. Taxes equal money! <laughs> Okay, so what is this information? I know what you're thinking. Coal cannot be the answer to the energy supply problems of the future. But patent trolls have everything under their control, and small companies like us have to save a lot before they can afford licensing sustainable energy technologies. Okay. So we have to use it for Although now. Although everything has been long researched and made available. What irony. What? What? Reach the first 10,000 colonists. Uh, growth phase. Build two city districts. Okay. Urban. City district. So I'm going to do one there, one there. Yeah, I could do one here, actually. One there, one there. Maybe? Or one there, one there. Let's do one there. Do one there. Try and build it next to like the main hub, I guess. We can put one there later on, maybe. Good. Now set up another district next to the city center. I, I am. There we go. Just relax. Okay. It is time to expand the city center. This will expand the borders of your colony and open up additional land for building. Nice. Okay. New technology at 300p. Uh, build up the city center to level 2. What do we do? Click on it and do that. Level up. Oh, look at it go. Go on, son. Ooh, we winners. The expansion has been completed. The radius of your colony is increased now. Nice. The city center also gained an urban density and offers housing to twice as many colonists. Okay. Handy. Where, where is it expanded to? Oh, down here a little bit more then. Okay, nice. We now have access to research. May Boom. I introduce Professor Tustin. He heads our research department and acts as your personal technology consultant. Okay. How's it going, Tustin? Where you at, bro? Nice to meet you. Oh. In the research panel, you can research upgrades for your buildings. 
Click on the research button in the upper left corner to get there. What are you weird, bro? Why you got one, a tiny piece of hair there? That's going to be like me in the future. In this panel, you can research wow. upgrades for your colony buildings that mostly make them either more efficient or more sustainable. Doing your own research takes time. You also can use research licenses to unlock technologies instantly. Hmm, quite. Okay. You can buy and sell research licenses for money. Okay. Does it not? Because obviously I don't want to... Um... Can't click on any of them. Oh. Ah, oh, does that? Uh, maybe that means I've already got these. Public transport. Ah, oh, yeah. So these. Ah, oh, no, because I've got that. Have I not? Okay. New technologies at thirty thousand. Ah, so new technologies open at thirty thousand people. The, did he want me to research something or? Um, seems like all these are open. Upgrade districts. Okay. Um, upgrade of industrial farm. Right, food's always important, I guess. Let's research that. Can you... Hang on a minute. Can you queue them? Upgrade of stone quarry. Yeah, I've already done that one. Upgrade of coal power plant, that might be... Uh, to unlock more slots in the research crew, you need to build more city centres, okay. So, what do we do then? Just wait. Eight minutes. Hey, wait for that, bro. So what's the plan, Stan? What's going on? You can level up city districts oh, as well. Yeah. They too will. So, oh, sorry. So I keep going. I keep. Oh, what's that? Gold deposit. Ooh -wee. I keep keep going. I I didn't mean to interrupt you. What is that? Uh, that is rocks. That's gold. Um. So what do we do now? Just wait. Can we speed up time? Is there a speed up time counter? What is this? Goods. Consumption 50. Ah, okay. So we need some more goods then. Uh, let me go to a building ring then. A ring of buildings. Goods. Brick. I'd like to build there, please. That's 50. That's 50. Um, I think they were better than... The wood weren't they 40 yeah yeah I'm not getting nothing real good for wood oh no sorry I, did, I was gonna say I didn't want to do that anyway uh, so we need to get some more goods let's build that then <coughs> pardon me food is an issue as well by the looks of it looks like we're consuming too much food Okay, so I like I like the layout. It's quite sort of um, it's quite simple, which is I guess nice. Obviously, I am researching it. I don't know how long it takes. Like it said, like eight minutes or something, didn't it? So we can actually demolish, makes room for new buildings. That's not a bad idea. Um, let's have a look at food. Okay, there's fertile land there. That's fifty-eight. What's this one? Saying I can't build there. Oh, fertility is not good enough. So I can build one here. All right, let's get some more food at a crackalack in then. So power still plus two. So that's all right. All right for consumption. Oh yeah, we're only just. Oh hello. The quality of life in your districts is often reduced by local pollution and certain adjacent buildings. Okay. I just finished the construction plans for park districts. 
They improve the quality of life, and this increases population growth, and thereby your tax income. Okay, you're gonna tell me to research, aren't you? Ah, park district. Okay. So putting one there will make people happy, yeah? Bam! Do it. Got another food going there. Oh, power's uh, power, power's by it. What the hell is that? There you go. I mean, people, people happy. Oh. What is that? A tech license? What is that? Oh. Uh, we need more power. Multi tools? I need. Nah, I need power, bro. Do 147 there, but I'd rather it out of the way. Let's get a bit more power here. Oh, mate. Uh, yeah. We have to increase our population to 450,000 to meet our company's growth target. I agree. Thanks to industrial mining, you can open up new construction land by clearing rocks. Some rocks contain valuable minerals such as gold. Look closely to find these deposits. Yeah, I already found them. What do you mean, though? Do we just... Your next objective is to mine 200 gold for the company. In okay. order to mine gold, you must build a warehouse. Uh, I knew that was going to be a catch. Build a warehouse, okay. Infrastructure, warehouse. Anywhere? I want to leave that for more expansion here. So maybe, I know there's some gold over there. Uh, maybe there. Right next to it. Who, who are you? Hi everyone, this is the boss. Lima reported the progress you're making in the Tuto colony. I ordered a supply capsule with useful equipment from Planetary Express. Nice. Thank you. In order to take over the cargo of the supply capsule, claim the field on which it stands. Ah, uh, okay. You can claim fields that are directly next to your border and then expand your build radius field by field until you reach the capsule. Oh, okay. So we don't have to level up the town center. Because before we had to level up this city center to obviously grow the border, but now we can just claim land. Does it cost anything or like that? There we go. Oh, give it me. Oh, we got a seed bomb, city level kit, and summer. What's summer? Gives the inhabitants of a district or an indigenous tribe a permanent mood bonus. If there is a riot, it will end immediately. Oh, do we just choose one? Contains items, resources, and one-time building licenses. A colony that owns this field can um, take the cargo. The capsule will then disem... Oh, we just take it. The equipment items have been added... Oh, sorry, mate. I didn't, I didn't mean to cut you off there, son. That's my bad. Sorry, dude. Great news. There are new buildings available. The company has also donated us a tech license. These are permits that will allow you to unlock and construct new buildings. Think carefully on how to spend them. Okay, you're creepy, bro. Like, can you just leave me alone for a sec? Oh, so we've got our warehouse going, so how do we mine? Mining. Mine it. Mining paused, waiting for a drone to become available. Mine it, bro. Are you mining? One of one drones available. Seems like he's going there. He's picking something up. Oh, there we go. Now he's working. There we go. Good lad. Stupid. Um, right, okay. Let's click on this info. 
Note that higher level cities demand more variety of supply. They need at least two different types of food and goods to really be satisfied. Okay, that was that's a little hint then I guess. Because I can do two types of um, goods. Because obviously we can do the stone and we can do wood. Um, but food, I've only really seen farm. Herbicide residents, right, okay. So then maybe that was a bit of a clue. What is this? Tech license. Let's have Welcome a look. to the technology panel. Here you can unlock new buildings. These are already copyrighted and patented, so you will need to pay for a license for every new planet you colonize. Oh, well, I think I want to do this food one straight away because look, we can do two. And he said about two types of food. So if we do cattle farm. Excuse me. License it. Oh, what's this? Biomass power plant. Uh, hang, hang on a sec. <laughs> hang on a sec. Right. So we've got food. Um, right. Okay. We've got an information thing here. What's this? You can mine these rare resources when you claim the land. Note that you must weigh the price for the claim against the value of the resource. Okay. Right, so I shouldn't have built that second farm really, unless I can change it. Um, this might be a bit risky. Uh, that's a bit too risky, I think. What is this? Seed bomb grows the optimal forest on any field. This field can be located within or near your colony. Gives the inhabitants city level. Right, okay, so that's what that is. Uh, where's food at? Cattle farm, bro. Oh, I can put it on top of that. I can just replace it, yeah? Nope. Okay, so that's like an ideal cattle farm. Um, do I have to... I'll mark that for demolish. Because, yeah, it's going to drop our food, but I just want to try it. I want to... I'm testing this out. I'm testing the game out a little bit, so I want to try... I don't think it's going to completely... <coughs> it's not going to completely bugger us up here. So, all right. Where are we at at the moment for growth? 450,000 people. We're at 325. Are we not growing anymore? So if I click on this and then go here and then go here. 35, 30. That's outside our territory. They're all 33. There's more food there. I reckon, yeah. Let's, do, let's put cattle farm there. Hopefully that'll make people a little bit happier because they're getting different types of food. Uh, I could probably have done, instead of doing another one of them, I should probably have done a field. But that's okay. I can always... Yeah, I could demolish it, but I'd want the field sort of there anyway, so... Right, so now we've got cattle farm up, so people should be happy about that. Quality of life is good. Oh, we mine the gold. That's good. Okay, we got. Our warehouse is now filled up with enough gold. It's good. time to trade. Build a spaceport. Wow. Okay. Well, things are moving quite fast there now, aren't they? Oh, it's telling me I've got more research. That means was something upgrade of industrial farm. Genetically modified crops produce pesticides themselves and enable the use of more specific herbicides. However, they can be harmful to health and make pests resistant. Makes food production go up, though. Oh. I don't know what these are. Oh, I'm guessing the, we can do these as well. Urban gardening. Species appropriate keeping. Upgrade. Oh, that's an upgrade of the cattle farm. Um, upgrade of city district, city centre. Offer your residents public transportation on buses and trains. The reduction 
uh, of personal car traffic contributes to reduce air pollution. Okay, let's. Uh, you need to research a Lincoln field first. Um, wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, so we need to. Wait, wait, what? What how, wait, no, how, how? Oh, maybe that. Oh, maybe the ones that are lit up are the ones that we can do. Oh. Upgrade of machine factory. I ain't got a machine factory. Upgrade of coal power plant. By fuel dyes, bed drying of coal and improved alloy of the steam pipes, the efficiency of the power plant is increased. Ooh. Recycles old construction materials, increasing the production. That is, however, energy intensive. Okay, let's do power. How long does that say? Eight minutes. Okay, yeah, let's do power. Right. Um, build a spaceport. Uh, anyways, what's this? The fossil fuel deposits in this field are slowly running out. Oh, wait, this what? lowers the productivity of your building until it falls flat. Oh wait, what? How do I, how do I know? Oh, forty four percent coal deposit. Oh, okay. Wow. So the the oh so you mm, okay okay. Um, right. Let's do this spaceport thing. Um. What'd that be under? Spaceport. That's a good place for that. I don't know. No clue, bro. Got more gold there though, son. Um sort of maybe out the way. I don't I don't know. Put it there. <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh, look at that, son. I said oh it's a ship. Good work. Once the spaceport is built, Thanks. it is only a matter of time until a space <coughs> merchant is landing. We can also call them in for an additional fee. Okay. So what's that for trade? What is this? Emission balance. Um, okay. What is that? Oh, that is your speed. Doi. What is this? Rare resources. Okay. Power's great for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, who's this? Guild space traders. My friend just so happened to pass by your sector. Okay. I'll buy anything you manage to stuff into your warehouse. Energy, goods, food, or rare minerals. You name it. I like him. What? It? Hello? Hello? What was that? I got everything a colonist could wish for. So we can sell? Oh, we can sell them. I ain't selling them, though. Okay. I'll sell. Okay. Good work. <coughs> the sale of rare resources, such as gold, is crucial to financing the rapid development of your colony. Okay, so you pick. He's picking up more there, though. Another thirty-one percent. Oh, okay. Uh, everything else is sort of quite cheap. Uh, can you can you go now? Second landing permission at four hundred and fifty thousand. What are we at? Three two five. We're not growing anymore. Why is this? Uh, three city expansion levels needed. Count the number on neighboring district roofs. I need to wait. I need to do that first. No, 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 no. It's re research one, isn't it? Like, oh, that. Is it? That's city level. Yeah, but that's city level. Okay. So what? What's the deal now? We can't grow anymore. Yeah, there's 325 housing spaces. The current number of inhabitants in your colony, the complete bar, landing permit. Right, okay, so we need to... Do we need to do another district then, I'm guessing? Right, we do another city district. Go back there and go here. Let's go there. 
Yeah, I'm guessing we need to get another district going, don't we? That that covers that as well, to be fair. So that's A-OK. -okay. What's my cattle fire? Yeah, I need to get some wood going as well, I think, don't we? So power's good. Power's very good. That's going to run out, though. So you be careful of that. You can press F1 to see a lot of hot keys and control hints that will improve your management workflow. Okay, F1. For example, you can keep shift pressed and reuse the last tool or build the same construct again. Ah, okay. Shift click it, bro. Oh, snap. Okay. Nice, nice. Uh, food is dropping rapidly. Why is food so low? Ah, oh, it's because we're getting more inhabitants now, isn't it? Okay. Uh, Should have possibly ah so we upgrade it there we go okay that'll now give us a boost in food that's demolished that's clean what's this waste disposal water treatment and soil radiation reduces the local ground population this improves the joy really of your building the mood is that gonna let's try it I just wondered if that was gonna destroy it or not so can we do that with these I can go around cleaning everything. Clean the park. Clean the. Clean it. Makes everyone happy when everything's clean. People happy. I do clean. People happy when I do clean. Okay, you're still doing that. Okay, nice. You're still getting some gold. Okay, so we can't upgrade these yet. Public transport, that's what I'm looking at. Energy. Yeah, it says we can do that, City District to 2. Why can't we do that one, though? Huh? Um... Level up. Let's level it up. <clears throat> we need to get more people in. Can't level that up. I don't know why. Why could we level that up, but not the other ones? Is there a uh, reason why, or...? Maybe we could only do one. Oh, so what's uh we can do four two five we just need a tiny bit more can't upgrade that see i can't upgrade that one i've just done that one can't do this i don't know why we can't do these leveling up the district creates room for more inhabitants two different types of food and goods are needed for a good quality of life requires neighboring districts to have a combined expansion level of three what What's that? In the journal, you can see all past dialogues if you missed anything. Click here on the journal button after this dialogue has closed. Well. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so we need, I think we need to get some wood going then. Uh, food's about even as well. Let's get good. Let's just do that. 33. 37, 37. Maybe get some wood over here. So like we need two lots of wood. We've got two lots of food going, although food's quite low now. What is this? Suspend production. Uh, no. Relo oh, you can relocate. Oh. Uh, did I have another f farm field? Oh, no. I got rid of it, didn't I? Like a dummy. Well, so I've got a wood curl. What does that look like? Okay, so yeah, we need some food. Um, what is that? Forty-eight. That looks like it's outside of our area. Fifty, fifty-two. Ooh, fifty's over here, boy. 
Um, and a minute, is it better uh, for a cattle thing or? 33, 33, 33, 35. Looks like that would be a better cattle place. Um, no, no, I'll see you there, bro. Uh, just give me a sec, yeah? I think I might get another farm. Fertility is down 7%. Why though? Fertility is down 20%. Fertility is down nothing there. Production 100%. Right, let's do that. Let's put one there. Right, you're here. Time to buy, Mr. Freeman. No, time to sell, bro. Take my coal, fella. There you go, bro. Right, let's get some more food popping. So now we should be able to upgrade you soon then, yeah? We've got two lots of food going. I don't know why we could upgrade that, but not this. Upgrade that. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand why this was upgradable, but these are not. Three city expansion levels needed. Count the number on numbers on neighbouring districts' roofs. Technology needed to be researched. Why? What does that say again? Three city expansion levels needed. Count the numbers on neighbouring districts' roofs. What? You know what? I have no clue, bro. Right, guys. Unfortunately, that is going to do it for this episode. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway if you did smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively so if you could sh show your support man I would really really appreciate it um, yeah if you guys would like to hit that notification bell as well then you guys will get notified when we upload a video when we live stream as well very handy little tool indeed and um, yeah we'll, we'll, if you guys would want to see more then obviously we continue on in the next episode so yeah don't forget to smash that like button man and subscribe if you do want to see more and uh yeah until the next time guys have a good one stay safe out there peace out